Hey everyone, welcome to the next part of Let's Play Football Manager, and yes, I am still going. <laughs> still all in one recording session from like the start of September to almost the end of October. I am completely mental. Uh, let's get it out the way before all the uh, uni work comes in, eh? Um, going to Fulham then, Anfield, first home game in a long time. Um, got five points out of three, home, which can three consecutive home, uh, sorry, away games. It ain't that bad, including you know, Tottenham, I suppose not that bad. But, um, yeah, I'm really it's getting on my nerves a bit now, but I'm changing things up again. Uh, with the full volley, Suarez comes back. Gerard on the left, Cal's on the right, uh, Henderson and Lucas in the middle. Uh, the Cotone is finally back, however, or available again after the suspension. However, I've not included him in this team yet. Anyway, um, I don't know, I just didn't fancy him. I thought, well, actually, I can't think of the fans, say for the fans again. Uh, that's all I really have to say. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, yeah, I've just not included them really. Um, I'm going to cut my faith, one final faith, bit of faith in Suarez and Carroll. If this doesn't work, then Tony will have another look in. However, uh, Bellamy is still out for a while, um, probably out until the re retail game comes out. To be honest, if I'm going to be, yeah, I think that's probably what it is. Will Carroll to find Gerard? Oh my goodness me! I mean, as I say, I let Gerard off with the long shot thing, but uh, when he does stupid shit like that, it does get on your nerves. But most of the time he's accurate, so I don't mind it. But God, I thought, we had four shots already? Good lord. By the way, Kaut is joint top scorer <laughs> in the Premier League, in case you didn't know. And there's a chance for Suarez. He has to finish this one. He still can't finish. He has a go again. He got lucky there. Is that a little break? That's just a little break he needed, and we have one the lead. However, I am not taking any of this for granted. Let me just make sure he is a poacher. Oh, it's the other way. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Turn it the other way around. I'll try that one again. Um, I'll put Gerard as a wide midfielder. Um, yeah, try that. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Hang on, give us a second. <laughs> See, the familiarity thing's good. I think we're all pretty much familiar. I think apart from the 4-3-2-1, not tip-top familiarity, but still reasonably close. Uh, let's have a look at this. Uh, hopefully we can see it. It's a good ball. Hughes, Aaron Hughes miss. Uh, Misinterpreted that one and uh, came back out to Suarez, who isn't. Uh, he gets a second chance. I think he sh really should be burying them, <laughs> if I'm going to be honest. And uh, we have a 1 0 lead. Bloody hell, 15 minutes gone, two shots on target, six of them. Sorry, six shots on six shots and two of them on target. One goal. Not bad. Come on, we still need more, though. There's Bobby Zamora, one of the most overrated players in England, I tell you now. I mean, it. And I tell you now, I can. I was going to say, how the fuck does Bobby Zamora get in front of Andy Carroll? You know why? Because Fabio Fabio Capello dislikes Andy Carroll. Actually, when I have a bit of a rant about Andy Carroll, unless Gerard scores here, oh, he's hit the post, but he has another bite at it, and we've won the corner. That's just unlucky. Um, but my, I'm going a bit of a rant on Fabio Capello here. Whilst uh, we, I'm going to talk over this. Um, I when when England brought him in, I thought that's a brilliant that's a brilliant managerial sign, and yeah, I thought he's a very very good manager. He did well at Juventus and many other clubs. Uh, I remember the first time I remember seeing him was at Juventus when he came to Anfield in 2005 in the uh, season we won the Champions League um, with his Juve team when uh, Luis Garcia scored that brilliant goal at Anfield, and uh, I thought that's a really good um, that's a really good uh, managerial appointment. But as he's gone on, I think he's lost the plot. I really do think Capello has lost the plot. Um, Sure, England have qualified and all that, and yeah, but they made a little bit of a meal of things. Meal of things, but to be honest, you know, you, you can't if you're England and you're gonna make a meal of it, aren't you? It's just in, it's in England's nature; they always make a meal of things. Even the World Cup final in '66, they made a bloody meal of it, and yeah, that's meant to be one of the greatest England team. That's the greatest England team of all time, and even they made a meal of things. So, it's in uh, England's nature to do so. But Capello has just for me gone mental now. Um, I, I really can't explain this man's thinking. Andy Carroll and so, I know, I know. Um, I remember it was the Montenegro game, which was probably at this point, probably like a week or so ago. Um, at the time of recording this, it was just got this gone weekend, and um, that I had rumours. Obviously, it didn't come to fruition, but it was going to be uh, Rooney and uh, Zamora up front. It turned out to be Darren Bent, but I just I was absolutely bamboozled by that. Oh, Suarez nearly getting in there again. He needs some goals. He really does need like you know to start firing. And hopefully be on there. Uh, but yeah, Capello, I, I, I don't know. I, I just think he dislikes Andy Carroll, who's on the ball now. Oh, I thought he was going to lay it off for Gerrard then for a second. Not to mention, you know, he, he was the one who doubted Frank Lampard, and what does he go and do? He scores a hat-trick against Bolton. 
Uh, you know, he's the one who reinstalls John Terry as a captain, even though he doesn't deserve it. And made Rio Ferdinand ahead of Steven Gerrard, which is just completely r ridiculous. Still can't no good finishing with Andy Carroll. <laughs> you don't tell me Bobby Samora do the same thing. I'm not too bothered about Darren Bent. I can understand that one because um, I think he's a decent enough partner for Rooney. Uh, again, I'd pr I'm biased point of view. I probably would go with Andy Carroll, but I'm not going to make not going to begrudge Darren Bent. But Bobby Samora. <laughs> I don't know who's more overrated, DJ Campbell or Bobby Zamora. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I know about, I talk about overrated. I mean, I, oh, save again. I, mean, I, I know I talk about overrated. I, for one time, thought Ashley Young was overrated, but um, he's proven me wrong. Uh, um, with the goals he scored now, I, I don't think he's overrated at all. He's a very good player. Possibly slightly more overrated, ever so slightly overrated than, uh, say, um, keep it up. I'm going to say keep it up keep it up, don't let them relax, I think that's one thing, relax is a bad thing <laughs> but they're all happy and that's a good thing to see, um, but yeah, Ashley Young uh, just a quick note on him, um, I personally thought he was over Rita whilst at Aston Villa but he's done brilliantly at Old, at Old Trafford Man United um, and I don't think I don't, I don't think he's overrated anymore uh, I just thought people made a bit of a bit of a meal of him when he was uh, at Aston Villa, but no, not the case anymore I I don't know, I don't know what it was to be honest, I, I think it was I, I can't quite put my finger on what I thought but yeah. Anyway, that's my little ramble rant thing on the way. Uh, done. Um, let's get back to the game. Very comfortable at the moment, but how many times have I said that in the last couple of games? And uh, look what's happened. Really should be about 6 0 up at this point, but wonderful ball by Gerard to Andy Carroll. And uh, once again, Mark's bloody Schwarzer making the save. I don't know if it's just good goalkeeping or just shit finishing. I think it's a combination of both. God, Jordan Henderson, very hit, very hit and miss with his corners. It's even worse than Martin Kelly. Oh my god. Yeah, I do feel a bit of inconsistency creeping or just general lack of something in this Liverpool team at the moment. Look at the look how many ten, ten shots on target. Ten. Martin Kelly on the edge of the area, look at this. He's gonna have a shot then. Lucas has a shot. Whoa, he's pinged it against the bar. <laughs> I don't mind that occasionally. It's rare. I when I, I talk about long shots, it's rarity. Not, or rarely, rarely, rarely. It's not never. So I don't mind the very occasional shot, but that has been a very occasional shot from. Um, oh, for God's sake. Oh, and look what I've just said about Bobby Zamora. Yeah, that, that, oh, in fairness, that really doesn't mean. Oh, my God, he scored against Liverpool. He should be in the England team. Don't think that. Um, I'm going to take Henderson off. Actually, should I? Carroll's been completely anonymous. Who can I bring on, actually? Might take Lucas off. Put Gerard in the middle. Bring Stuart Downing off for Lucas. Not because it's just purely because of his defensive nature. Uh, let's change that to uh, advanced playmaker, and let's get Gerard attack. Everyone attack Carol. Hell, even Carol will just attack these days. Bothered. Once again, throwing away a bloody lead um, through Bobby Samora. Unbelievable! Look at that. Two shots. Uh, sorry, two shots on target. Three. I mean, they've once again come back in the th in the second half. I don't know what's the what's the deal with this. And there's no highlight. What the fuck? I just think today's my day, to be honest, <laughs> for this type of thing. Always, always extended play the one uh, the day I hate that, that I'm doing really poorly. I don't know why. <laughs> um, who are we going to take off? I think I'm going to take... Gerard having a ball game? Are you taking the piss? Dirk House has been completely anonymous. I'm going to bring on Charlie Adam. Uh, Jordan Henderson. Swap. And someone's headed over the bar. I thought that had gone in for just a second. Jordan Henderson. I've moved the midfield around completely. That's an entirely new for midfield. <laughs> now. Hmm. Not, uh, if this stays like this, I'll be very unhappy. Um, just, just, just sloppy, conceding goals. I, I, I don't really know how to to get them to tighten up in the second half. I t you say to them, stop. You know, stop. Um, I'm not making any subs. Uh, you know, you you can say to them, keep it up. But when they keep it up, they just fall asleep. As far as that, as far as I'm aware. Cause that's all that's it. All saying that team talk. That's all that teams do. And we're down to ten men here. Martin Kelly's off the field. I don't know. 
and that was the most pointless f highlight in the history of Football Manager. Um, and yeah, we've been attacking. I think. Oh, please tell me, just God's sake, game. Go attacking for the la last few minutes. Don't do anything. I'll Fulham have a goal kick here. Schwarzer taking his time. Taking a very long time to take that. Should be more than six seconds. Carrigan not even contesting that one with Andy Johnson. Okay, come on now. Get forward. And he goes Suarez now. Put a box, put a good ball in the box. And what did he just do there? It's one a corner, but he should have put a cross in. Jordan Henderson with the corner. This is either going to be really good or really bad. And it's neither because it just skips the fucking highlight. Um, I am absolutely... I'm getting really fucked off now. Um, I'm getting really fucked off. Um, um, don't know what else... I really don't know what else to say anymore. And uh, just... What is this game, man? What is this game? <sighs> Still third somehow. Um, I'm really okay. I'm gonna have to go away and have a think about this now because um, I really don't know what the fuck is going on. <laughs> um, we're, we're we're just conceding way too many goals. Um, at the moment. Um. At vital times, you know, it's not like you know we concede when we're three 0 up or something. You know, we concede. Look at City, could be worse. <laughs> um, oh my God, look at Arsenal. What the fuck is going on? It's, it's just, the game doesn't have a clue at the moment. Um, yeah, I'm really getting really, really fucked off with the game. Um, and we go against West Brom, not again in the League Cup. Um, I'm getting very annoyed with the game. I'm going to go away and have a think about what the fuck I need to do um, because this team is just really pissing me off now. Let's go. Not training. Go to fixtures for God's sake. Let's see. So um, that Wigan game was a one-off. So it was nil-nil against Burnley. We had to win on penalties. 3-2 against Aston Villa. Lucky to win that. Pathetic display against Tottenham. Conceding again late goals against West Brom and I'm conceding again at Fulham getting to the point past the point now of delirium almost uh, that's a bit that's a bit extreme but yeah um getting really pissed off with it and um i'm gonna have to go away and have a think about what uh, i need to do so thanks for watching guys for joining me for the league cup game against west brom goodbye for now